I came in here in September and everything was new. London is a big city, so I was looking for someone to help me. I look at the I'm at my emails and I saw this mentoring program and I was like, yeah, why not? Maybe someone can help me in finding a job or like in developing my skills. First of all, the CV at all because I had a CV already, but it was kind of a mess up. So I decided to ask her, uh, her for help and then the cover letter and then some tips on how to reply to the questions of the interviews mainly. I would say the confidence because at the beginning I was very scared uh, about doing interviews, uh, about all this job finding. So I think she's she really helped me in like, okay, don't worry about if any if something goes wrong, if something is not as you want, like don't worry, just keep going. So my mentor did the same course of mine. So I'm, I'm doing events management. So she helped me not just um, as my in my professional career, uh, but she gave me advices and suggestions also on how to do assignments, how to succeed in my in my academic career. Just ask any questions that you that came that comes up to your mind. There is no uh, stupid questions or something. So if you have that, if you have any. Any, anything, like just ask to your mentor and your mentor will be happy to help. Boost of confidence, motivation, happy. Happiness. <laughs> <laughs> Happiness. <laughs> For me, it was because I wanted to help a, uh, I thought it was going to be an undergraduate, but actually I'm with a master's student who I got paired with, but I wanted to help a student to progress and um, improve their employability because I'm a HR advisor so I work with recruitment and um, sort of career progression day to day so I wanted to help. For me I'm new to psychology and I want to enter the counselling career so having talk, having someone to talk to and having Sarah was really helpful was to help me enter the counselling. I think for me it was um, really rewarding, which is what I've really found um, nice to hear in the ceremony, was the two-way process of actually it wasn't just about what you were getting, it was about also what I got out of it. So it was really rewarding and fulfilling to help. So for me, instead of studying in psychology, I also got this counselling course, which Sarah helped, got me to get in there. And I'm sort of, see, it's really helped. Like during the process, how I get through this counselling course process, and then how do we also like deal with some sort of uh, CV or how to how she helped me how to enter the counselling career and how to get some volunteering experience and all this sort of stuff. So yeah, I learned a lot of things from that. We discuss lots of different things yeah. in our sessions. So yeah, yeah, employability, sort of interview skills, um, how to get you into that experience that you want. Yeah. Yeah, loads of stuff. And, yeah, and well-being as well. So yeah. we tapped into sort of the social sort of side. I'd probably say uh, rewarding, um, fulfilling and enjoyable. Uh, for me it's amazing <laughs> and also I'm going to say rewarding and interesting. Okay, so basically the first time I saw it, was, it was on Employability Office Instagram profile. I really, really liked it and also one of our professors really advised it. So I was like, why not? And I tried it and it was the best experience from my studies. Okay, so we had a call with my mentor every week and uh, at first we were discussing my CV and my cover letter which helped me to realize that I'm not as bad as I was thinking about myself. Uh, so he improved my confidence um, a lot. So he basically he helped me through his LinkedIn and he helped me on advice on my CV. And whenever I had any questions on how to act on job interviews, he was really, really helpful. And he gave me an example on what question I can ask in the end of the interviews and how can I behave in the best way so the employees, employers will like me more. 
maybe ask him more questions because uh, sometimes mentors don't know what exactly we are looking for. So if we are looking for specifically finding a job, just asking questions about um, like how can I find the best job, how can I improve my CV, etc, etc. Uh, fun, helpful and self-improving. I decided to, to join the Korean Mentoring Program to connect with uh, people uh, from the industry because I'd like to create meaningful connections and uh, expand my network as well and I found the program really valuable. I was at a stage in my career where I wanted to improve my own leadership skills, I wanted to give something back, I wanted to you know, encourage up and coming talent, um, but just to learn some more myself as well because it's, it's a new skill for me as well, you know. Thanks to the program, I was able to, uh, to to learn more about myself as a person and uh, as a professional. Uh, Laura has helped me a lot uh, with my CV, with my LinkedIn as well, and uh, we had interesting discussions on different topics. Uh, uh, she also touched upon the uh, the financial uh, services industry, which was really helpful as well because. I was able to expand my horizons and learn about different industries and markets so it was really useful. I think I found it really refreshing actually to, to work with somebody who's coming into the industry, who has so much passion for the industry and who's really enjoying getting to know it and coming into it and reminding me of all the things that actually I do like about my job and you've reminded me to network because that's actually something you're great at that I am not so we've loved being able to learn. <laughs> Don't limit yourself with talking only about uh, the CV, for example, or LinkedIn. Uh, try to, to learn more about, uh, about the person who is your mentor and uh, about the industry your mentor is working in as well. And what are the future, for example, like uh, opportunities or limitations. I think just go for it and just get stuck in and go with the flow because it can be quite an anxiety inducing thing I suppose for us as well because you think am I ready uh, do I know enough have I been in this industry long enough what can I share but so much comes out, out of it that is valuable on both sides so go for it. I would say insightful, uh, transferable and fun. I would say refreshing, educational and reinvigorating. This is my second year with the career mentoring team. So in my first year, I was paired up with um, an industry professional from Saturn Banking. And then she showed me the way about how can I progress my life in UK and career for an investment banker job. So that really had an impact inside me. So plus the support and guidance I received from the career mentoring team back then was really good. So it was really, really immensely grateful for them. And that was the first reason. And secondly, um, I'm doing my placement with the employability service. So I had a couple of questions in my mind that I want to ask to a professional about what you do actually within a career and within a company. So the reason is like twofold. The first one is before I got a job and second one when a job is going on as a placement. So yeah. So talking about my second uh, mentoring experience, we mostly shared about our experiences in, inside a job. So like, how do you perform well? How do you impress your team? How can you be more collaborative? How can you improve your communication skills? Making sure that the team has you whenever they need you. If I'm going to talk about my first mentoring experience, that was mostly about how to get a placement or a graduate role. So it was in two different ways that I utilized the mentoring experience. But in overall, it really helped me to connect with a lot of industry professionals. And then, yeah, I had a chance to deliver a speech for the second career mentoring program this year. So if I sum up my mentor experience from the last year and the current year, I can say that it totally depends upon your requirements. So if you're someone who is trying to know more about how you can excel in your current role, or if you're facing some sort of challenges within your career, or in your career and if you're looking for some answers, then try to connect with an industry professional either inside your own industry or somebody from outside in industry. In my perspective, for me, my mentor was outside my working industry. So she gave me a different insight and different perspective that was quite unique to me. 
which really helped in my placement with the employability service. Secondly, please embrace your mentor-mentor relationship. If you're not able to find a proper job or a graduate role throughout the end of your mentoring program, still you'll have, you'll have the chance to know what skills does it take for you to learn in that role. So it's always twofold. And the third thing that I would say is to be more active and engage in the mentoring conversations. So you can always ask questions because a mentor might have something that you won't be expecting, something that can be surprising. Uh, so copying from my own speech, I would say it's transformative, enlightening and empowering. So that's what my mentoring journey so far now in the last few years.